Welcome to Shovel Ones to another episode of Disheveled Panels. I would like to thank Snake Eyes Comics for the opportunity to review Werewolf by Night. Um, so this one is a one-shot set during the Blood Hunt event that we just had like back this summer. This actual comic came out in July, so it is a couple months old, but it is a werewolf by night story. So, you know, I like my horror. So, yeah, I'm going to check this out. The cover, this is a gorgeous cover by Devete Perator. <sighs> I uh, probably slaughtered that name. Sorry, my pronunciation is not the best, as you can tell. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just throw up the title page. Uh, this is gonna give you the uh, the writer, artist, colorist. One thing with one shot set in events, nine times out of ten, I don't dig them. Unfortunately, this one. I did not dig. Uh, the art really wasn't my style. Um, so you have, uh, this one follows uh, Jake Gomez, which is uh, a, a werewolf by night I'm not really familiar with. I think he may have debuted like, you know, within the last five years or so. So I don't really know much about him. I just really know like, like Jack Russell stuff. By the way, I wish Marvel would like release those collected editions or Let's go ahead and do some, like, you know, just call them epics. Uh, or, you know, re-release um, those omnibus because all that stuff is way too expensive. And I would really like to get my hands on some of those older uh, older Werewolf by Nights. So, yeah, this one, this one deals with Jake Gomez. And he is at some sort of amusement park, you know, letting the monster out. You know, he's just going to this abandoned amusement park, you know, kind of taking it out on the, you know, the animatronic dinosaurs you know you know what you do and there's this whole play on you know he's got his little playlist going on you know that that's all fine and good until uh sam and his uh, group of creepy goth kids are out there trying to summon his uh his uncle and then when they they summon the uncle that's when the poo hits the fan so to speak and also the whole blood hunt thing that's happening now uh unfortunately i've not read the whole blood hunt like series so i don't really know exactly what's going on i do know a little bit like um that the sun goes down and the vampires come out pretty much what's going on apparently the moon goes out too because when the moon goes out jake loses all of his wolfing powers so he really isn't up to the task to take down this uh evil uncle they got uh summoned out i mean story-wise he did fine you know it just really i don't know Kind of just feels like, a, you know, a kind of a waste. You know, here you got a comic that costs five bucks and it doesn't have anything to do with anything. I mean, it's it's kind of like, you know, oh, hey, there's an ongoing uh, Werewolf by Night series coming, which I think actually is going to be dealing with Jack Russell. But I know what purpose it is because Marvel was like, hey, these kids out there, they want some horror. Let's just give them something. Let's just, you know, here, write it real quick and let's just throw it out there. They don't care if it has any significance to it. You know, they'll buy it up. And then that's just kind of uh, the way I feel about these uh, these events and then the one shots that accompany these events. Um, there was one back that, that uh, Devil's Night uh, a one shot by Jed McKay. Now that was really good. But unfortunately, this one, not that good. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thinking about favorite panels. It's definitely not this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. The Goth Kids. That was kind of cool. And the summoning. And as always, stay spooky.